This sale of the tape brought to you by Motel, approved for those with a fighting spirit. Tony Ferguson, 35. Donald Cerrone is 36. Cerrone has two inches in height, but Tony Ferguson has a three and a half inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions for this featured bout. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 36 wins, 11 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Denver, Colorado, presenting the number four ranked lightweight contender in the world, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record, 25 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the former interim UFC lightweight champion and the number two ranked lightweight contender in the world. Tony Alcacui Ferguson. All right, gentlemen, we've been to the rules of the locker room. We want to obey my commands at all times. We want to protect yourselves at all times. We want to touch close to and now good luck to both of you guys. Well, amazing to think four weeks ago we had this loaded UFC 238 fight card, and these two men were not a part of it. They most certainly are right now. Donald Cerrone, Tony Ferguson, in less than 10 seconds. Tony Ferguson just pushed the cameraman away so he could get a better look at Donald. <laughs> I mean, right, they got the full man of it treatment, too. Let's go fight oh, yeah. off in and the they should. Go to the middle. Everybody understands what type of fight we're in store for right now. All right, this fight clock brought to you by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Ferguson in black, Cowboy Cerrone in blue. If there's going, wow, right away, Tony with the kick. Working off of that weapon early. Good right hand in the body by Tony. Donald trying to find that rhythm. Good inside leg kick by Tony. This is the thing about Ferguson. You can be hitting him, but he's going to be right there the whole time. He's not going anywhere. He's going to stay in your face. He's going to keep engaging you in just that ugly fight. And then you got to start watching out for the elbows. Because when they start landing, then you're really in trouble. Both guys are exchanging jabs, hard jabs. Ferguson, lifelong wrestler, two-time All-American at Grand Valley State. Called it his platform to gain mental toughness. A few better platforms to do that. And here he gets weird on you. And when he gets weird like that, it's very difficult to gauge what he's going to do. He's incredibly creative. Nice inside leg kick by Cowboy there. You don't be turning your back on Donald Cerrone, though. Pulling back with his head straight up in the air. Way up in the air. And Cowboy is teeing off. On the, when the exchange is finished, Cowboy is the one that's landing at the end of him. Ferguson's training habits truly the stuff of legend. The consummate workhorse. Both guys with strong leg kicks right there. Oh, elbow by Tony. Those are the ones. I mean, he landed one against Josh Thompson that really changed the path of the fight. It was competitive initially, and then after that big elbow cut Josh, Tony ran away with the fight. So you cannot take those shots. Anthony Pettis, every guy that fights him, they end up so bloody and battered. 
The other thing that's unbelievable about Tony is his ability to push a pace. Nice left hand there by Tony. His endurance is legendary. Ferguson, another guy who's been buoyed by the birth of his son, Armand, who's going to be three years old soon. Not as well publicized, but huge source of motivation for him. Good left hand there by Ferguson. I mean, Tony's pace is just crazy. It's He's crazy, like, and very few people can keep up with him. He's just constantly touching Donald right now. Donald's landing, but he just can't stop Tony from pursuing it. And he's hitting the clean. Good front kick to the body by Tony. As many of you know, Cerrone went a full 25-minute main event with Ally Quinta 34 days ago. But for Donald, that might be good. Yeah. Because one of the things he loves most is being active. There's some blood on Tony's face. It's hard to see where it's coming from. Looks like a cut in the cheek. Right over the eye. It's right over the right eye. He got cut. And you got to think, Cowboy fought 25 a couple weeks ago. Maybe he could pe keep this high pace for 15. You know, it's 10 minutes yes. less. It all depends on what kind of damage he took in that fight. Good kick to the body there by Ferguson. Under a minute now to go round one. Back and forth offense as expected. Cerrone's jab has been on point tonight. As is Tony's. There's two in a row for Tony. Donald with the body, Tony with a front kick. Ferguson rolls with that left hand from Cerrone. 20 seconds to go in the round. Good left hand by Donald. He heard him with that. Oh! Switch to body armor, the official sports trick of UFC. Try the new 28 ounce berry lemonade flavor exclusively at 7 Eleven. Listen, man, I really slow motion right now. I need you to get in there, right? The elbows are in there, okay? You respect it too much, I don't need that, okay? Don't respect it. I need you to pressure, more pressure. Okay, you have it. Listen to me, okay? You go over and get shot. Don't force it, though. You know with the shots, okay? Low enough, that's why you ain't catching it. Chin down, don't pull out with your hand up. Keep the shot going. More speed. More speed. Looking good, Tony. Tremendous exchanges back and forth. Look at this. Beautiful elbow by Ferguson. Turns his back on Donald, which is very, which is very strange. Tony. Couple of good jabs there by Tony in the right hand as well. Just Really, really evenly matched first round. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. Ferguson landed 64% of his significant strike attempts unofficially in round one. Oh, jab hurt him a little bit. Jab made Cowboy sit in the chair a little bit. Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. He hurt him with the left hand again. I mean, he, his, Tony's punches are starting to take an effect on Donald. That's the thing about fighting Tony Ferguson. It's like, you can fight a good round, but you've got to be able to sustain that for 15, 25 minutes because he will not stop. Right. And you got to sustain it at his pace. He does not let you rest. He does not let you dictate the pace. Nice kick to the body by Tony, and again. Now you see him just oh. kind of taking it to Cowboy. Donald's going to have to answer. So hard to know what's coming. Tony loves to work that body with those front kicks too, and it really saps your energy. Look at a nice leg kick by Tony. There's very few guys put the kind of pressure on you that Tony, Tony Ferguson does. And if you're gonna finish Ferguson, you gotta separate him from consciousness, put him to sleep. 
because he Ooh. keeps on coming. Good right hand by Ferguson, the head kick. Look at these guys. Nice right hand counter from some, Cerrone. Some blood coming out of the nose of Cowboy. Nice inside leg kick. Oh, he stung him with that jab. It doesn't even seem like Tony's throwing very hard, but it, it hurts. But Cowboy's fighting well. And if you fight down with Cerrone, you back up with that chin in the air. When he's throwing those long combinations, kick is coming. He likes to finish his combos with kicks. Oh! Left hand of Ferguson stops Cerrone in his tracks. Coming up on three minutes now in round two. A little telegraph on the spinning attack there. Donald's having a problem with that nose. He keeps touching it. A lot of blood coming out of it. It's forcing him to breathe out of his mouth. Head kick lock. Oh, across the legs by Ferguson. Oh, elbow. Beautiful spinning elbow. Tony Ferguson is a madman. That jab is insane. They're both so long for this weight division. Tony has heavy hands, too. Yes, look at how much he's busting Donald up, and it doesn't even look like he's throwing all that hard. Well, he's got big fists. Yeah. And when he lands, it's got a lot of weight oh, on the oh, 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 there. Wow. These boys are going at it. But Tony's doing a lot of damage in this round. You're seeing it on Donald's face. You see swelling on his face. You see it in his nose. Ferguson wide out as usual. As he presses forward, gets taken down here. Ferguson back to his feet with little issue. Look Front at the Front kick swelling. to the body again. Both I mean that, of those eyes. I mean, that tells you the power. That's why every time guys fight Tony Ferguson, they're always so beat up. The face is real beat up. There's bruising, there's cutting. That just tells you the amount of power that he carries and all the things that he's doing. 51 head strikes and counting for El Kukui. He has been the far more accurate striker thus far. Oh, head kick by Donald. But Tony graves it off and tags him to the left. He throws two shots at the same time. He'll kick you and punch you at the same exact <laughs> right, right. time. And it's so difficult to prepare for. And I think what people don't they underestimate is the ability to roll punches that Tony Ferguson is doing. He's not taking yes. the strikes clean. Even that head kick, he rolled that head kick. His jab has continuously backed Cerrone up tonight under a minute here, round two. kick by Donald. But Tony just never stops, and he's not even breathing heavy. That's what's crazy. He can keep this pace, and very few people can yep. hang in there with him. There's no point of comparison for Ferguson. No. I don't know who you compare oh, with. Look at that elbow. elbow. He's busting Donald up. Hit him with that right hand. And he's, he's feeling loose now. Competitive first round, not so much second round. The second round's a Tony Ferguson show. Donald's in trouble. Both his eyes are swollen shut. Right, Look at that. Right, right. Oh. oh! Clayton right hand after the horn for Ferguson. Oh, that's terrible. We'll see how Dan Morgliata chooses to proceed as Robin Monroe attends. Yeah, that was dirty right after the bell. You heard the bell. I told you to break. I gave a hard warning. Right, that was after listen. the bell and after I said hard break. Warning. To the end of the round. But it seemed right after the bell. So tonight we've had a guy hold on to submission long, and now a big strike after the after the, the bell goes. We got five minutes left, right? Look at me, Look at me. everything, everything. everything. Let's go. go. Let's go. Let me call it and throw it. Let's play a video. I don't Let's know go. what he can do different. I really don't. Let's take it one more time. We'll hear it. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, oh, that's blatant. I mean, that really is blatant. Hey, Joe, it looked like Cerrone maybe blew his nose and that right yep. eye now is it almost completely up. You cannot closed. Blow. You can't blow oh, your nose. 
And now Dan Mergliata's gonna call in the doctor and... You can't blow your nose whenever your nose is broken or anything like that. I mean, I mean it is completely shut. See. This fight's gonna be over His right here. His eye was swollen from strikes before that, but can you watch the replay and see that last blow after the bell oh, hit his close. eye? So let me know where it hit. The fight is over because they're asking for the replay. If they're asking for the replay now, yeah, this fight over. is over. It's over. He wants to confirm whether or not that late strike landed and hit his eye. Doctor said you can't fight. Look. You can't fight. Doctor's telling him he can't fight. The, the doctor's protecting him, and it's for a good reason. His right eye is completely closed shut. And we're going to show you where Cerrone. All right, let me bring in the commission. The fight is over, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to look at the replay. The doctors to are calling see. The They're going to look at a replay, see. but once they look at a replay, uh, the see. fight is over. Correct. Yeah. Okay. It's just the a doctor's question of how well, they will It's over proceed. then. You got him on the other side, look like, right? Where'd the punch land? It looked like it landed on his nose. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember, though. We're going to see it. Look at it. No, it's on the nose. Well, the crowd doesn't like it, Cerrone doesn't like it, but when the eye is completely see, shut, the they, doctor for his own good. This is the correct, this is the correct decision. And now the crowd's starting to fire stuff at the octagon. We hope we'll get yeah, that. Yeah, he's got hit in the back by something. Ice, got ice. a lot of muscle back there, Joe. We're going to take a look at the replay of Donald Cowboy Cerrone blowing his nose. Yeah. We hear a lot of cut men warn fighters not Don't. to do this. Don't this blow. Is the thing is, you feel like you shot. want to be able to breathe out of your nose. Yeah, I that's broke, exactly what it is. I got kicked in the hold nose on, against uh, Rumble Johnson, and I blew my nose, and it just blew up completely. It, I didn't blow my nose. It blew up completely. Look at Donald. Yeah. Right away, he's like, oh, my goodness, my eye. Yeah. As soon as he blew it, he understood that he had made a mistake. It's just so hard to not do that when your nose is clogged up. Yeah. And you're about to go into a third round with a savage like Tony Ferguson. I actually... When Rumble kicked my face, all Bob was saying was don't blow, don't blow, right. because the air blows up behind all the swelling and the blood, and all of a sudden that happens, you can't see anything. So, how does this fight get scored? What happens here? It will be a TKO, I would assume, for Tony Ferguson, unless Dan Mergliata determines that the late blow at the end of round two was what caused the eye to shut. That does not appear to be the case. So needless to say, an anticlimactic conclusion to this one. We're going to take a look at the end of the round once more with the audio up so you can hear the strike after the horn. It was on the nose. From my vantage point, looked to veer to the right side and not the left side. Not to the eye in question, but... It's just such an, an unfortunate thing. And, you know, two guys that put such a great fight on to end in that way is, is very difficult. But, I mean, they both laid it all out of the line. The punch after the bell hit him in the nose. So it had nothing to do with the eye. Thank goodness. I think when he blew his nose over there. You can't do that. Well, he blew his nose over there, too. I'm sorry, guys. Can't bring him in. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. Here is Bruce Bruff. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round two, the doctor has called a stop to this contest. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. I'm here with the winner, Tony Ferguson. Tony, an unfortunate end to the fight, but a spectacular performance up until that moment, particularly in the second round, where you really seem to start to take over. Give, her your, give us your thoughts on the fight and how it ended. Talk to Cowboy. Cowboy, there was a punch after the round. It hit you in the nose. You blew your nose, which is something you're never supposed to do, and your eyes swell up. Give us your thoughts on this. Yeah, I just asked if they could push the air back down. That's all I want. I, 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 the punch had nothing to do with it. He, uh, 
That was the fight I think everybody wanted. I'm so sorry. I don't quit. I don't back down. And uh, man, I just wanted to keep fighting. I was just asking, can you just push the air back down? And uh, I sh you're right, I shouldn't have blown my nose. I'm a veteran, I'm old school, and I should have known that. But I did, and I, I humbly couldn't finish the fight, and I apologize. Well, Donald, even in, in a loss, you're a gentleman and a warrior. It was an honor to watch your fight, and we will see you again, my friend. Donald Cerrone, ladies and gentlemen. Tony, I know, I know this is not how you wanted the fight to end, but this leaves you in a position. I know this is not how you wanted the fight to end, but this leaves you in a number one contender position. So please give us your thoughts on where that stands. Let them get their boots in. It's not how I wanted the fight to go. It was a really emotional year. There was a lot. I mean, it's a fucking fight in here. Yeah, just a lot of emotions flaring. There's no words I can express it. I don't like to win that way. Um, we could throw it back. I don't mind doing that. I really don't. I, he's a hell of a fucking fighter. Hats off to Cowboy Cerrone and his team. Thank you for taking the opportunity right after an immediate fight. I want to say thank you, fans from Chicago. Thank you guys for coming here. I don't want to fucking win like that. I, I know better than that. I'm a better person than that. I'm a better fighter than that. I can give a fuck who's next. Uh, I don't give two fucks. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna look at this and be pissed at myself for a long fucking time. Hats off to Cowboy Cerrone, like I said, and his family. We went out here. We, I hope you guys enjoyed at least the first couple fights, man. Besides the bad ending, congratulations on an excellent performance. Tony first.